Local reaction tonight in the case against the Massachusetts trial court concerning mold at the Roderick Ireland Courthouse. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 10 on Fox 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. That case now delayed one week as extensive settlement agreement talks are underway. Western Mass News reporter Matt Sigeli joins us live in studio with a recap of today's events. Matt. Well, Jordan and Chris, local union leader George Noel stood outside the courthouse steps with employees this afternoon protesting what they believe are unsafe working conditions. And after news broke of a potential settlement agreement, he tells me he's cautiously optimistic about what this could mean and eventually working towards a solution. Well, we said that we'll stay there one day longer than this thing gets settled. And our hope is that this, uh, these settlement talks bear some fruit. Western Mass News speaking with George Noel after talks of a settlement agreement emerged on Monday between plaintiffs representing employees at the Roderick Ireland Courthouse and the Massachusetts Trial Court, which would include remediation of potential toxic cancer causing mold. That, according to independent testing released in March. We're open to anything uh, that includes, um, you know, remediation of that courthouse as long as it's done safely. The issue, which has been building up for years and was finally set to go to court on Wednesday, will be delayed by one week after a joint motion filed by both parties was approved by the judge presiding over the case. Writing, we do have an agreement in principle that we've worked on uh, extensively over a period of months of negotiations and uh, spent a lot of time on Friday over the weekend and this morning uh, making sure that we were in agreement in principle. According to court documents obtained by Western Mass News, the agreement includes remediation and deep cleaning of the courthouse to address factors that may be negatively impacting indoor environmental quality while permitting the courthouse to remain open to continue administering justice for the people of Hamden County. And the local union leader adds advocating for worker safety will remain his top priority going forward. We saw residue and uh, debris on people's desks after you know, some remediation was done at night. You know, we can't have that. What is looking at uh, working with brokers for some alternative sites? Uh, I found this out on Friday. So, um, so I'm hoping that this is, uh, this is part of the plan. Attorneys add they'll have until Tuesday, May 2nd to finalize an agreement before the case is scheduled to be heard by retired Supreme Judicial Court Justice Francis Spina, who was appointed by the SJC to serve as special master. We'll keep you posted with the latest live in the studio. Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.